This is an SABC News presentation. Just as Cape Premier Helen Ziller fights the declined request for the army to be deployed temporarily in gang-ridden parts of the Cape, comes the wake of Kayelicha, where gang-related fights and killings have taken place all over the township, with some areas even becoming hotspots of these fights. <laughs> The Qurans. An often deadly fight between feuding gang groups. This street practice has even taken place at schools where some have lost their lives. What are they fighting for? In the Kosa culture, young boys go to the mountain and undergo a traditional rite of passage that will deem them men after everything is done. But in the Western Cape, where most people are Kosa speaking, it seems the transition into manhood leaves much to be desired lately. Young men from Kaelicha, the biggest township in the Western Cape, are quickly joining gangs and using drugs. Not so long ago, a shocking video of boys stabbing and panga pounding an evidently defenseless young man spread all over YouTube. These were the last moments of Lunga, a 15-year-old boy who died a very brutal death, caught on surveillance. The boy who died is Juan Lunga, the 15-year-old son of Luandile Mazula. Before Lunga died, his father had travelled to a relative's funeral and had written him this letter. <laughs> Please, Umama wumye nikata tobao undumi usweliki ili. Ya kutanda. Umu wajwa nge 2608-2013. Utenge iparafin ilita i12 rand. Unga chisi inda ambuze hita. Ya kutanda. Lunga masa. Goodbye. Dead. Due to the nature and volatility of this story, some names have been changed and identities hidden. The Qurans has become a popular fight in the streets of Kailicha, 
so popular that it happens almost daily. I spoke to gang members of the Vatos Locos and Italians, the two groups involved in this feud about the stabbings. Many have become heartless and some have become killers at a tender age. There is a common utterance in these boys' stories of joining the gangs by default. The Vatos Locos, if you are from Kailita's G, D and H sections, and the Italians from Site B and other areas. As a result, one should not dare enter the other's territory. The outcome could be deadly. The sections in which these young men live are merely divided by a road and are all part of Kailicha Township. The gangs have restricted movement for themselves and their peers. Freedom of movement in our liberated South Africa has no meaning to most of the youth in Kailicha. The question now is, why don't they stop fighting? But as I spoke to these young, charming and harmless looking young men, I could not help discover that this problem was some kind of twisted way of staying relevant and entertained. Where are the parents? What are they saying? It's also clear that these young men, many still in their teens and unable to attend school because of this problem, need help getting out of the gang without losing the security associated with it. The Qurans goes off at any time, any place. You have to stay prepared and ready for the message when and if your friends need you. Even the stones used to hit each other at the start of the fight lie all over the terrain as if set for a Qurans match. Could poverty and broken families be the cause of troublesome behavior from these boys? Sisa, not her real name, is the eldest of her siblings. They all live in a small one-bedroom house. Sisa is the only one who works part-time, at most four days a month. Her family really struggles to get by. I seven, Nabokoyo, and then Nabandwana be two up by by eleven. Umdu umdu Nabandwana bag, and then go with my brother by. Four, 
Oyo wan ulunge koyo. Use prongwen. Ibengo mnye uze mbakwamu. The imprisoned brother she speaks of is alleged to be a ringleader of the one prominent gang in the area, one who doesn't want to see his friends go down. Sisa does, however, express relief that her brother is behind bars. Yavuye panga pagati, noba agano pona pekoz ba nisa icho mizake se suleki lengo ku engeko pekoz ku kumi ngo na bebe mtana nyano bebe ambana i na yelo mtana lo bulu bese icho mizake kulendo ya abo but kwa enapi noba agaso bulu bebe mbani so ndi yavuye engeko pekoz nchala bena inge kapa seleki ndi kulendo kulendo lo popolo mtani. Sadly, the gangsterism has impacted greatly on the quality of life these children live. The one gang has not even visited a mall that was built three years ago in the territory they are not allowed on. These beautiful words, once spoken by the late Utada Nelson Mandela, echo a firm stance against the restriction and oppression of the people of Mzansi. Yet, Utemba has just turned 18 and cannot go apply for an ID at a home affairs office only five minutes drive away from his house, fearing that he might meet the opposition and get stabbed. Sure. Are you still part of the gang? Uh-uh. Mm. Where are you going? last year. Where are you going? I'm going to go to the house. 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 Why? January. This year. Why? Fighting over girls is also a reason put forward as how the gangs originally started. Drugs such as dick go hand in hand with gangsters in these streets. Some 
substance abuse, crime and gangs here have no gender preference. With so many problems surrounding the teens of Kailicha, one wonders how much of the negatives will trickle down to the young ones if something is not done. The problems facing residents of Kailicha are great. But with Kailicha having three police stations, are these problems so great that the police cannot handle them? What happens when a Goran's fight breaks? What do police do? This is exactly what happened when a Qurans broke out while we filmed this episode of Cutting Edge. The same police van came back a few moments later. No chase, no arrests. We tried to get an interview with the South African Police Service, but we have since not received a response from them. Stabbings and fightings mean getting injured. But even crippling injuries or near-death experiences are not enough to change these young men's way of thinking. This young man lost sensation in his arm and hand and cannot use it anymore. The gang say there have been a lot of intervention attempts by the community. But at the end of the day, it's all about revenge. revenge. <laughs> That's why I used to be a cocoa. I was a rougher The respective ward councillors of the different areas of the township are well aware of this problem and say they are trying. Uh, 
bodla liswa ebhola kulondawo kodwa ke baye bathi ubuya kwabo baphinde benze ko the same thing so now sazama ukuthi kube kho activity esithile ezincedisana lomna lomcimbi so now and ndingatsho ke liphandle ukuthi eh lomcimbi we crime wona asufuna ukugwaphela i solution ya le problem okuqala i crime ayimelanga umuntu omnye kufuneka sonke silo i crime simanyene eh oko ithethe into kubana eh oludlame eh singalichitha if umhlawumbi sinosebenza sonke sibe moyamnye sinqanda abantwana bethu into kuba mhlawumbi mabangalwe bayeke lento bayenzayo or else sibase kwindawo sothi umhlawumbi baqeqeshwe kuyo ukwenza ukubana le crime iphe Councillor Gabuza strongly believes that parents and families can play a huge role in curbing the ills in the community. As a councillor, while what, on 98, Harali Kailicha, the Kabisa in Dogbana, Abandona Betu, Tom Dana and Puma Engine, of Nega Omas Apoyakon, Ned Kaisha, Lokoboya, Ulas Bang Bari Kaisha, Ukwenze in Dogbana. Anga Hengeleki, Glom, Gilam Koba, Wokulba. So in Chubuti Geli Longe, Nabazal, Fneka, Abanduana, Bangaba Tetil, Kamdan ascends in the wrong. Mundan ascends in the wrong ones there wrong. Kufnega car in the Ballet Cleo, Kuzan in the Banna, Kunasan Trimbi, Ulu Pell. In the second part of this episode, we will engage with the community and how they are coping with this problem and find out from a parent who lost his 15-year-old son to the Qurans. I couldn't believe that I was born in Moshwar Banguyel. I was born in Moshwar Banguyel. I was born in Moshwar Banguyel. I was born in For more information on Cutting Edge, listen to the following radio stations between 6 and 7 p.m. Monday through to Friday. Abasigi Babunda, Ukozi FM. Dipuma Mbibeni, Ligwala Gwala FM. Apanapaya, Umshobo Weneni FM. Zibuya Nabazumi, Ikwekwezi FM. Brought to you by SABC News, Africa's news leader.